All right, here's a playback now of the uh, launch moment of ignition and the liftoff. It doesn't waste any time. Oh, boy. <laughs> right up through the clouds, and then it emerged again. What a spectacular sight it was here. Yeah, the to launch site. There's the roll, see? Four minutes, 35 seconds. Columbia, 60. Columbia, you're just in your front seat. 20 seconds. Four minutes, 45 seconds uh, for the first time. Columbia has uh, forward abort to orbit capability on two engines by throttling the engines up to 170%. That means they can lose one of the three engines and still get in orbit by utilizing their fuel through the remaining two. Five minutes. Columbia now 68 nautical so miles altitude, 189 nautical miles downrange. We're going to show you the launch again from another uh, angle. There's that water flood to suppress right, the yes, turbulence. Shock wave. Yes. See it starting and. <laughs> Five minutes, 14 seconds. That call up by Capcom Brandon Stein says that England is going to come out of there. Watch it come out. Oh, boy. Just riding that wall of flame. That's when I sort of wish I could do it again. <laughs> Well, what was the birthday card to uh, Dick Truly? Have a blast on your birthday. He certainly had one. <laughs> All right, we're at five minutes, 45 seconds into the uh, mission. And they're pressing on toward orbit. And that spacecraft has been there before. It is really a return to space. We're going to show you the launch from a still another angle. As you might guess, we've got cameras scattered all over this place here, down there. And everything is going just well in the mission while we're showing you the replays here. Is that majestic? Is that... Joe Engel says everything is looking good on board. See, that's a very good shot, giving you a very good idea of just the tremendous thrust and power. We have about two more minutes before the uh, main engines uh, shut off.